Okay, I'm calling the March 3rd, 2020 board meeting of LaPorte County Park Board. Call to order. Roll call, please. Amanda. Here. Jim. Here. Aaron. Not here. Brian. Here. Mary. Jameson. Ron. Jackson. And Mary Nell. Here. Yay! <laughs> Anybody have any questions over the agenda? Can I get a motion to approve it if so? So good. You're gonna have to second it because you I'll second it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Against? Okay, hearing none. Let's approval of the minutes. No, I'm not sure I received a copy of that. Um from the prior meeting. Of course I wasn't at it, so it doesn't uh, should have got it in an email, but um okay. You should have it in front of you. Uh, are they in there? Picture. Yeah. Okay. This should be a copy. Yeah, it should be. Okay. Well, since I did not attend, I'm not going to have well, any right. on the right. Oh, that's okay. You that's know, okay. I have it here. I do have it here. Sorry about that. And typically, you'll get those um, right before the. Like, the week before the meeting, mm -hmm. Tuesday before, we usually send them out in an email. So you should have those in the emails uh, before the meeting. So. And you even give me several, a few documents, and I think when I looked through here, I, I went by this because you had given me the other ones that were in right. So right. my mistakes okay. are. Yeah. Well, like I said, you aren't here to know what was said in anyway. Right. <laughs> I move we approve of that. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Financial reports. Should have, should have gotten a copy of that as well. So, yes. Um, uh, that normal expenditures, we didn't have anything out of the ordinary in the past, in this past month or the first two months of the year, really. Um, but. Good. So we are right on track. Yeah. Good. I'm trying to run out as usual. <laughs> fuel, is that what we're going to run out first? What's that? The fuel budget like last year? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not bad. Our fuel, we don't use a lot in the first part of the year because we don't have all of our vehicles, or sure. you know, all of our staff, and it's mowers and all that stuff going. I mean, if you look at it, the, the worst already is your dues, just because we pay our dues at the beginning of the year for like IPRA and, and things like that, Indiana Parks and Rec Association, so that pretty much uses up the year's budget for dues, but you know, we don't need a lot more than what we get there. So. <clears throat> okay, do I have a motion to accept the financial reports? So moved. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Superintendent's report? Uh, a few things uh, to add to that, I know you probably already read what we put down there, but I wanted to mention a few things. Um, we're looking into getting a new internet at Lure, so um, right now we're, we're, I may have mentioned this before, but I did get pricing and we're, we've ordered uh, hardware similar to what we have here now, so we'll have um, Wi-Fi and um, the, the private internet for the, the nature center. Currently, we don't have any public Wi-Fi there, so it'd be nice to be able to offer that to our our, our uh, visitors as well, and for our presenters and the stuff that might need to get on there to do a presentation. Uh, and then, um, so that would be free Wi-Fi, like a guest. Yeah, so it'd be a, it'd just like we have here, which we put in, here. yeah we put that in I think last year. So so this is just. Uh, and it's going to cost us monthly, it's going to cost us the same as what we're paying now with not so good a, a service. The, the MiFi's that we have are really old technology and the computers aren't working well with them and so we're, we're moving forward to do that. We'll do the installation ourselves and then work with Verizon again to get them hooked up. Um, so probably be getting the, the equipment here in the next week or so and hopefully be getting that put in soon. Good. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was 
Um, I'm working with um, the the um, in county engineer to try to get some plans to, to redo this parking lot out here. I don't know if you've known how bad it's starting to crack up and yeah. actually parts are starting to come up. It's not just cracking now, little chunks are coming up. So working with the highway department, the engineer, and then you know once we get some kind of plan from them, we'll probably be getting some contractors out um, to give us some pricing. We don't have the money to do a project like that, so we'll be hoping the county will step up and help us out. I'll, I'll keep you posted on how that goes. Uh, the other thing we're wanting to do here is this this back patio, the concrete patio behind the here is sagged again. I don't know if you remember about four years ago, we had that pumped up so it would be level with the deck, and now it's probably an inch and a half or better sagged in some places again. So we're to the point of trying to figure out what we're going to do, and I think what we're going to probably try to do is, is tear the whole concrete patio out and put a deck, <laughs> a deck and a t you know bury posts and everything, so it's not going to move. Right. Attach it to the other deck, and, and we're getting pricing on that. But the, the key to those two projects will be coordination, because this is rented so much. Um, but we have about a three-week window in August that it's not rented. Yeah. So we're working. Well, we already blocked it off. Just okay. If, if we can get this all coordinated okay. and money and everything all set up, we're thinking maybe we can do it all at one time and and, and get that done. So that would be our hope. Um, if if it doesn't pan out or if the money's not there from the county or from you know from wherever we right. can get it, then then we'll just open it back up and try to rent it. But. Um, so that, that, those were the two main things I wanted to mention under under superintendent's report on top of the other reports that are there. Okay. <clears throat> For standing committees, I think Aaron and Mary are both absent. But yeah, they're, 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 you want to cover that or do you want me to? Oh, go ahead and cover that. I've got one other. I guess there's, last I heard they were still working on the, the evaluation process and yeah. they're going to get us by, probably by couple, within the next couple of weeks they'll have everything tidied up. So. Yeah. Um, other thing I wanted to mention on that was, um, as, as you guys know, our maintenance supervisor um, is, is leaving at the end of the month. Um, he uh, took another job with um, uh, St. Joe County Public Library and wasn't looking for a job, um, but they found him and, and enticed him. Uh, there wasn't anything uh, we could do to keep him. Well, there was, but nothing that we could do. Uh, within our powers. Um, um, I, I'll just read his letter real quick. It's a short letter. It says, uh, Dear Jeremy, it's with a heavy heart that I'm submitting my, my resignation as the maintenance and construction supervisor for the Port County Parks. I've been offered a position as the assistant facilities manager at St. Joe County Public Libraries. My last day of work for the Parks Department will be Friday, March 27th. So we've got a month still, or almost a month. Uh, thank you all uh, for all you've done for me and the position of maintenance supervisor. I know the next person will have uh, success due to your leadership. And with that being said, Human Resources and the, the uh, president of the county council went ahead and approved uh, posting that position right away. We got it posted internally right now. Uh, if nobody, it, it, it's posted internally until tomorrow, and then hopefully it's going to, you know, then it'll open up to the public if we don't have uh, any internal applicants. So, but just, we're moving as quickly as we can on that so we can hopefully seamlessly move move on and get somebody in right. the train before the main season starts, which is coming fast and, and, and that kind of thing. So. Excellent. Is there any other committee reports? Okay, there's no old business listed, so we'll go on a new business. Five-year master plan? Uh, I just wanted to mention that we'll be, uh, so I talked to Pat Brown. Pat Brown is from Sitescapes um, Incorporated. He's done our previous master plan since probably for almost 15 years or better, Brian. I mean, oh, at least, in, yeah. At least. Uh, so, so I'd like to go ahead and move <coughs> to, to use him. Um, and, and, and we kind of just discussed the, what, what would be done was we would just be re basically revising our old master plan, taking out things that are, you know, done and adding more to that. 
Um, his, his role would be, you know, to hold the public meetings, public input meetings, and then, of course, assuring that we have everything we need with the DNR as far as compliance and things like that. Um, but but his, his idea was, was to, you know, wait and, and see what Bob's replacement, you know, sure. might be able, what his capability or her order capabilities are going to be and where we're going to be as far as, you know, how we would do some of these projects that we come up with. So, so hopefully we can get that person on board and then we'll start um, um, in, in May, basically, we'll start doing the, the, the meeting or the, the planning and, and all of that stuff. But April, Pat thought maybe he would come to the um, park board meeting and good. give a presentation. As Excellent. As what we do. So. Sounds good. How about the new computer purchase? Um, so, been working with IT on this. We have uh, three, three, uh, three desktops and one laptop. Two of them are eight years old and two of them are 10 years old. Yes. Um, yeah, and then we've been starting to have some problems. We've had to have IT come out several times with mm -hmm. those. They got, they got us some pricing. Uh, turns out between all of it, what, I'd like to replace mine with a laptop and a docking station so that I can take it with me and do things. So you want two, do you want two desks and two laps? Three, no, one laptop and two desktops. Or three desktops. I'm sorry, three desktops and one laptop is what you're wanting. Yeah, that's what do they have now? Uh, we have what we have now is four desktops. Just four. Okay. Yeah, but I think it'll be a little more. I can be a little more mobile and be doing things outside of the office if I have that with me and, and, and that kind of thing. They they uh, my 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 issue is for the total. On that, it comes to about seventy-three, seventy-four hundred dollars for all of that. It's not in my budget to do that, so I'm hoping to go to the council and ask them. I have to go to ask permission to buy any office equipment anyway, so I'm hoping to ask them. If well, I, I think that's a smart idea because I, you've been working with their IT department anyway. Yeah. So I mean, exactly. and they're gonna they're gonna know that you've got these yeah. need to be replaced, and it's their pricing, and yeah. so I wouldn't see any reason why that that's yeah. the way to go. So and and. They said it should be a fairly easy process because I mean our, our Windows Seven isn't even supported anymore. They're so old, so I mean we, we it's really time to, to move on from those computers. So, but, so like I said, I'm, my plan is to go to the council at the end of the month and ask them for permission to buy and for the funds to do so because well, we don't have that. So. Okay. Our new board member, Mary Nell Murphy, is here. Hello. Thank you very much for coming. Congratu here. Congratulations on your appointment. Thank you. Um, things are going to go a little fast for you at first, but it's not hard to catch up. Um, we have a very tight budget from the county. We stick to it, so there's no, usually not a whole lot of surprises. Um, I think most of our like major items are up to snuff. Um, Buildings are, are are good and vehicles are good and everything else. So, within the next your your learning curve within the next few months, you should you should you should be okay. And and if, don't be afraid to ask questions or or, or or get with the staff or anything like that. So I highly recommend if you haven't yet, go to all the parks um, when it gets warmer. <laughs> yeah. Um, tour them, walk them, um, get to know the park staff because they're they're just super good people to work with. So and and get to know them because they're. A lot, lot of, lot of good things go on at the county parks. A lot of things people don't worry, that don't, don't know about. So, well, welcome aboard. Thank you very much, Kevin. You got anything in public comment? No. Are you sure? Because <laughs> we'll listen. <laughs> All right. Board and staff comments. Just welcome. Yeah. Just Thank welcome. You. To I'm sorry. I'm very happy to be here, and I had a really nice meeting with Jeremy and Rob last week. Which I had to postpone because I was even sicker than this. But I look forward to getting to some to some of the parks, you know, with you. I've, I've been to Red Mill a couple of times. My husband and I retired here, oh, come up about three years ago, and so I've been to the Laporte parks. Really enjoyed them quite a bit. In fact, with the Audubon group, I was one of the presenters when I think all the fifth graders came out. Oh, excellent! Last year, uh, it's a great park. And I knew I'd seen you at for some reason. Oh, excellent. 
But I have not been to uh, Creek Ridge, so I okay. look forward to going to that. And I was going to give you a call when I have speaking voice, um, <laughs> maybe so at the time when we could, you know, uh, get together again if, sure. if that fits into your schedule. Anytime. Okay. Thank so. you. Very happy to be here. Excellent. Is that it? You got anything? No? Nothing? Okay. Need a motion to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. <laughs> okay. I feel safe in doing that. <laughs> Need a second. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed? Okay, next meeting now, before we turn off the camera, I remind everybody the next meeting is April 14th. It's one week ahead of usual. Here. Lure. It's, oh, is that Lure? Okay. okay. Is that the best 515? Yes. Okay. April 14th, 515, Lure County Park. It's April 14th at Lure, 515. Okay? That's it.